as we mentioned, the microservice, as if you understand that TS4 has a 16 microservice. As of now, TS4 platform is monolithic, but we are planning to break them down and we identify 16 microservice. We initially, in the next quarter, we are going to break three services. The main service will be authentication authorization. So nowadays, you have a Agile LM, different username, and uh, TS4 you different username will be developing another application, different username. You see this? It's a problem. So you are going to build a authentication authorization. It, it will be built in a way. Once you get the access, you will be able to access any of our application without creating the new username and password. And that service is very critical for any platform like the Google. Do you need to create the different, the username password for all the Google? No. In one Google account, you can access their thousand application, right? is actually called the authentication and authorization service. It's the one of the most important, the service in every company. So we are going to build the authentication authorization, but that's how it works. Look at this. The, each of the service, as I said, database is different. So say an example, enrollment, user, the payment, and the, the chat notification, like this 16 other services. Some will be for the portal, some will be for the admin, some will be for the backend, mix and match 16 services. And you see each of the services has their own database. And when you call the services, remember now, it is not the UI anymore. It is actually, we are all talking about the backend API. Remember, write this down. Whenever you call the microservice based platform, it's actually you're building all the backend logic, means the API, right, end of the day. So those API actually consumed by the client. So this, if this API need to be accessed by this API, this service, this service, this service, this service, there is something we have to do. But the service means, whenever you call the app, means it has an API and it has the interface. Whenever you hear the service, it means it, it doesn't have the UI. It has the only the logic, means the backend, either message broker or the API. So now if you look at this picture, right? Look at this picture. These service all are separated, but they're, they're talking to each other. How? API gateway. See this? So their service is talking to each other through the API gateway. That's how the microservice works because they're all separated. One service can be Germany, another service can be Japan, another service can be India, another service can be anywhere else but they all communicate through the API gateway. As I said, service is developed, they are actually producing all the business logic, it means the API. So now there is API gateway, there is another layer also involved. This part is important, you guys are learning now. Another layer is important. Well, API, it's good, it's okay. I want to go API layer, but there is another important layer, it's called the message broker, or it's called the message queue, what it means, API based communication is all the RESTful API, all RESTful API, but we can actually put another layer here, it's called the message queue. That's another application, it's called the Kafka and then the RabbitMQ, like this message broker, what they do, they actually allow these services to communicate with one another. What they do? They allow to communicate with an, one another. What is the purpose? Look, if this service is communicating with one another, right, continuously, don't you think they're already stressed? Because they're stressed, because they're, they both are using the resources, right? You see this? If, if you are requesting it, both communicating together all day. So they have one type of what? Resource is already consuming throughout the day. How about you just put something here? You just said something here. If you want to communicate here, you just communicate with me and I will tell him, okay, you have a message. If you want to communicate with him, you just tell me, I want to send your message to here. So you are sending me, you are sending me an email, right? Or the post, the mail, you go to where? Post office and post office sending me. Another approach is, you can come from Indiana, drive all the way, drop at my home, right? Which one you will take? 
post office. So message broker is actually the post office. What it does, it actually separate things out. Don't worry about it. I will take care of you. What are the benefits? So if this system is down, still this system is fine because all the messages holding by the message broker. Once the system is up, it starts sending you the message. So now you can say, of course we need in the TS40 platform, we need this, right? We need this if you are, if you are trying to, the chat application is down, but the your sign in is working. It still is fine. As of now, it's broken. If the system is down, everything is broken. But if we break down the services, so our chat can be down, but our, the, you can watch the video, you can get the notification, you can get the email, right? You can make the payment, everything is working fine. So we can do two way, we can do the, through the API gateway, but we'll be actually putting another layer, it's called the message broker. The good news is the whole world you see today, the so dynamic because of the message broker. Because of the message broker, you see the stock market is running. You see the Uber is running. You see the Lyft is running. Do you know how this works? Behind the scenes message broker. So that the hundreds of service does not matter. They're communicating with one another because message broker is actually taking care of the high level dependency from the services. You need something, come to me, I will give him. You need something, you give it to me, I will give him. It's like the broker. That's it. So that will be, that will be actually another layer. So that's not your much responsibility, but actually the huge responsibility for the cloud ops engineer. Now they have to learn how this deployment works. This is JavaScript. This is Python. This is Golang. This is Java. This is PHP. So they need to learn each of the stack how to deploy. Good, that's it they have to do. And now they have to know, okay, I know the API. Now they have to know how this actually the message broker things work. Now they need to work with the developer. Okay, show me so I can develop my own sandbox. I can do that. And they will also oh, talk to the developer or oh, show me how the API gateway work. Because developer is doing, so they know already. Means if you are in a project, brand new project, you are in this situation, that's how you start communicating. But the, the Microsoft based application, the client always hit the API gateway. And then each of the services is connected with the API gateway. And when you do the consuming the API, we already showed last week, you are not exposing your business logic. You are not exposing your code. You are exposing only two words, slash sign in, slash payment. You are not showing, you are never show the actual code base. Make sense? So microservice never show the code base, it show the only the route. It's called the route. Make sense? Of course, monolithic does the same way. You are we are we are the we are the here monolithic, but we have all the separation of the back end is different, front end is different through the API. That is fine. That is nothing changing the game here. But microservice base is everything is separated, pure microservice, they communicate through the API gateway, but if they want to communicate, they need to communicate. If they not, they don't want to. They need to communicate and that the layer is message broker. Okay, if our DevOps engineer, cloud of engineer do very well, if they listen and obey me, and then we'll be actually uh, showing them pure microservice based deployment. And if they do anything else, so they will stuck what they have. It's all their decision. We have the, um, the pure microservice base. Everything works like the shiny. When you, when you deploy it, when you know everything else, when you talk to a manager, manager will be listening to you very carefully because you are talking every single details, how this works, where this interface does, how the controller works, how the API gateway works, how the message broker works, how the Redis works. Manager will say, wow, this guy is very technical. So again, you guys, if you guys do very good, We'll show you eight, nine hours of the long workshop. Then you have to learn one time and you will be doing hands on everything. Okay, any 